Okay, so number one is really easy. All you gotta do is be attractive. This one works so well. It's studies have shown that being attractive makes you look great in t-shirts. As you can see right here, my friend looks great in this striped t-shirt. Killing the... Yeah, wow, I don't know how to feel. In this video, you're gonna learn three ways to make any t-shirt look good. I promise I found these to be super helpful with everyday fits because I'm super lazy and these are like really easy. I'm breaking it down in three things and they're gonna be cuffing, fitment, and tucking. So yeah, let's get this video started by cuffing this baddie over here. What? You know, honestly, this filter has been so confusing. We're just going to start with fitment because I don't know who to trust anymore. So yeah, the first way to make t-shirts stand out is fitment. I talk about this a lot on the channel because it's arguably the most important part of fashion. If it doesn't fit you right, then what's the point? But alongside that, you can use it to make your fits fit. Sick joke, man. Sick joke. Most common one is just going oversized, getting a size up really easy. I really like vintage t-shirts for this look though. Like the really old ones that have Alzheimer's, the ones that smell like Ben Gang going cruises, really old t-shirts. But for basic t-shirts, even a, even a boxy cut would look great. Totally change up the whole vibe of your fit. You really don't need a cool graphic to make the t-shirt look good. It's all about the personality because as you can tell, Looks can be deceiving. Guys, I'm so confused. I can't be the only one. Everybody's got a different body. Just try different cuts to change it up a bit and stick to what you like. I've personally found oversized to work for me every time I just roll with that. So find what works with you. Next up, we got cuffing. Cuffing sleeves on a t-shirt gives a very old greaser vibe with fitted shirts, but with bigger pieces, I really like the look as well. As small of a change as it is, I feel it really switches things up completely. Like you're gonna have to play with it a bit to your liking, but it looks good with the contrast to your arms if you have a bigger shirt. I usually do it when I feel like the fit's missing something. Like right before I go out, I just roll my sleeves to see what it looked like in the mirror. And if I like it, I leave it. Lastly, we got tucking, and this one's pretty hit or miss for some people. Like usually when people think of tucking in a shirt, they think it's gonna be fitted and tight, but it doesn't have to be like that. Leaving it loose and lazy and kind of just like all over the place like spaghetti, it kind of has a nice swag to it. Like maybe even just tucking in the front part, exposing your belt, like it's very easy to do with bigger shirts. It's not much, but like the other tips, it definitely does a lot for the fit. And for all my short gamers out there, it helps with your proportions. It makes you look taller. Not that you, not that, not that you have to be. I mean, it's not like it height doesn't matter. It's it's all about personality. But I'm only like 5'10, so I'll take all the height I can get. I don't care. Just give me the fake height. Like I, I it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But in the end of the day, it's like not even a matter of how you look. It's the personality. But what is personality? Personality is the sum of what makes you you and if the only thing that you got under your belt is clothes you're only ever going to pull the interest of people who like clothes and imagine that you know being in love with someone like yourself oof big yikes so to save you from spending the rest of your life with someone like yourself oh my god i've teamed up with my boy over here skillshare to help you out with your life oh also for the record this was just a way to transition into the brand deal i don't actually think that you're a bad person i mean i actually think you're pretty great like i bet we'd get along Wow, those horrible. You know what? Let's just put conversation skills as a saved class for after this video. Skillshare is one of the best ways to learn almost anything in life. There are over 25,000 classes to choose from, from stuff like cooking classes to conversation skills, which is now I'm very aware I probably need. But really, it's a great way to advance your skills and hobbies. I'm very visual, so the videos help me a lot. From what I found out, time is something that you can't buy back even with money. And you can't even resell it either. Like StockX doesn't have that section yet. So the first 500 of you that sign up with the link below will get a whole two months free. So sign up quick. And even if you're slow, it's like $10 a month. So even then you're not really losing anything. So go sign up now. The link is in the description. You won't regret it. I promise. Okay, so thanks for watching the video and hopefully this upped your t-shirt game. And also again, thank you to Skillshare so much for sponsoring the video. I'm gonna go get some classes on social skills. Go follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at Christian VYYT. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess my message for today is just don't get catfished by that filter. I swear to God, guys, I have so I have bad trust issues now.